Do I'll you say, yeah, let me just say this real quick. Joke. Whenever a comic that we kind of know or know of hosts SNL, all of us in this room, and you have to fucking admit it, mm-hmm. a party you roots against the fucking guy. Oh, holy shit. shit. Louis the only guy in my <laughs> lifetime that oh. walked through those doors, and I was with him. Like a, like a, like a guy. Opie said it when I was here the other day. Like like watching Louis, it was like a, a, like one of not you know like one of my guys. Like I'm a fucking coach, but like one of our guys. Well, like a guy really that are fucking oh, yeah, yeah. from the stoop. It was awesome. It was like the <laughs> moment you the mo- and fucking Don Pardo, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Paul is sure. <laughs> you know, the party is going to be like, I hope this fucking tanks. <laughs> but with Louie, you. you're like, holy shit. Yes, yeah. yeah. we were standing in the phone booth by a car going, they're going to make this fucking. <laughs> yeah, they're going to make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was great. It's gonna be and then you walk through the curtains and there's just a bunch of chairs stacked up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Louis C.K. come out of this empty. <laughs> oh, 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 he must be like actually 90, He's right? And uh, there's nothing anybody could do about it. That's <laughs> that. Yeah, and that's that. We yeah, yeah he spun it on a line. He's a redheaded you know, cunt and there's nothing was, can be done. It was payback for Joe Dixo leaving his stage manager. Real <laughs> greaseball <laughs> shit. We were so happy you know, for you, Lo. Yeah, man. Yeah. In my house, we were so fucking happy. I got I want to ask you about the...